Hey, I'm, I'm fitting an 832 uh, socket head cap screw into a hole and I gotta trim it just a little bit more. I thought I had it for the first time, but I thought I'd turn on the camera and tell you all about that, that I missed it the first time. I hope you're all doing good today. Just about Christmas. So I'm gonna get that back end of that collet find a good spot where it feels good and I'm just going to take the smallest amount off there just about I can. That feels pretty good. Snug it into <laughs> the ultra inexpensive but it's seemingly good working uh, uh, bow star call chuck. Okay, fire it up. 890 RPM here. Yeah? It better fit this time. Okay, let's go see. Good old Axon lathe. Works great. And this is what I'm working on. The all tool grinding fixture. And I want I want a socket head cap screw that fits down in there. It had a little uh, repair job with the nut, and it's supposed to have a uh, socket head cap screw down in there. This is the next size up, but that had already been done, and that's fine. So I get that fixed. I uh, uh, still cleaning on a little bit. It's coming out very, very nice. Get all that uh, carbide and years of use off of it. I'm going over it, replacing things like this screw here. It should be a set screw. And I'll do that. It has a tail on it. So I'm going to have to machine a set screw to fit. And I put a little black knob on here. It had this uh, crank, which is handy, but it kind of sticks out. And I'll keep that off to the side, stick it on when needed. And I also made a heavier... Uh, ball handle here. I'll show you the this is uh, the original and I made a heavier one with a bigger ball now I stick that back up here uh, to break the collets loose see okay now Rob got on me he says uh, hey this is not <laughs> this button here is to lock the spindle and you push it in let me see if I can do it with a finger and find the hole. Okay, there's the hole. And you do that to lock the collet with this crank handle here. And uh, do not use the pin and the holes to lock this. <laughs> okay. Now, let's have a look at the instructions or what there is of them. And uh, people have asked about this and this is it. And it, <laughs> what this is, is a tool for advanced uh, uh, operators. It doesn't tell you very much. It tells you to use, uh, uh, how to use the drawbar holes and to use the locking pin, okay? Never use the index pin, what I talked about there, 
to lock the spindle for opening or closing of the collet because you would cause undue wear on the indexing plate and probably loosen the spindle assembly. That's requiring readjustment. See, it's kind of full. This is delicate. Old. Uh, the index plate is fastened to the spindle with three set screws. The set screw closest to the spindle lock, eight, engages a helical slot in the spindle proper and allows for take up of in play by a clockwise rotation of the index plate. That's interesting, isn't it? The other two set screws serve to lock the index plate when proper adjustment has been made. That's one of the screws I, I'm going to replace there. The spindle has been made tapered to allow take up a diametrical wear. When using the index plate, lock the index pin with the index pin lock and tighten the spindle lock in order to avoid unnecessary wear on the index plate holes. If, if while working with the fixture is found that the index pin does not enter the desired hole in the index plate, the whole index bracket and pin assembly can be moved to desired position. On top of this fixture are two leveling pads parallel to the spindle axis. These lugs allow the spindle axis to be indicated parallel to the base. The frequency of oiling depends upon the use made of the fixture. Oil as often as necessary using light spindle oil only. Previously a heavier spindle oil was used so I will have to uh, make adjustments accordingly. Let's go have a look over here and, and see what they're talking about. Here is the uh, index pin and this whole assembly moves so you can find the right spot on the two um, loosen that on the on the two uh, rows of holes. Let's see if I can get it in one. It usually takes two hands, but it's not that hard. There I got it into the outer row, which is 24 spaces. The inner row, which I got it into. Once you get it in there, you lock it here, and then you lock the the movable bracket right here. Now right here is the uh, indicating spots. This one here would, uh, for the uh, um, vertical or horizontal could be, depending on how you have it. But anyway, the, this is indicating and then on the edges here is uh, indicating too for you to indicate this in. There's no keyways in, in the base on this one. Okay. Now, this is uh, what I got wrong first time. This is the index pin here. Not the index pin, but the uh, lock pin. And you push that in to lock uh, collets in. And uh, I don't think I have that. Uh, that's pretty tight, so I have to use that index pin. And that's about it. So I made this uh, heavier lever for, or handle just, just for that that part. So I'm repairing this here and uh, it's looking pretty good. Okay now the next thing is kind of cool here. I don't have time to show you this. I like this kind of stuff. I got this from Rob. Hold on I'm gonna set you down here. Ah, there we go. Here you are. Okay what we have here is let's see M.A. Ford Manufacturing Company Instruction Sheet for Ford Unicam Resharpening Fixture. How about that? That's for sharpening. Single lip countersinks. M.A. Ford. And this is the fixture here for doing it and it does all sizes. A quarter to uh, half shank or bigger. And uh, we'll get that set up, get those pieces out, and uh, see how this works. And that'll be quite a video in itself. You see that? It's got a cam face on the end here that pushes it forward. And uh, also, 
have a homemade version that does the same thing in a different way we'll look at that i think it's pretty cool so we get some ideas on sharpening your single flute uh, counter sinks you know you could probably construct this tool uh, yourself so these counter sinks are sharpened by pushing them forward on that lead okay <laughs> i think it's going to be kind of nice need to get into that a little bit I, i'd like to uh, sharpen my dull counter sinks <laughs> <laughs> this is an MSC tool here from MSC and it's discontinued so it's unknown how much this thing uh, initially cost but I would expect it's pretty expensive now uh, I've uh, I find that I've gotten on uh, some people's nerves about how clean I keep my machines but that's another subject there uh, having the machines uh, exceptionally clean is not to impress other machinists. No, 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 no. It's the customer. The customer is more important. Now, if you're taking care of, I found it with Harley Davidson, people think their motorcycles are their baby, and you're taking care of their baby. So if you have everything clean, baby's being taken care of. Okay, I'll be back with more fun like this. Okay.